Birth charts, also known as natal charts, are charts that detail the positions of the planets and other celestial objects at the time and location you were born. Knowing these positions can offer a person an idea of their personality and their past, present, and future lives. Birth charts offer a deeper look at how we react and interact in regards to ideas such as love, relationships, careers, emotions, and more. Each person has a unique chart and therefore a unique essence. For this video, I'm going to style outfits based on three planets from my birth chart. My Cancer Sun, my Virgo Rising, and my Scorpio Moon. First off is my Sun and Cancer. Cancer babes are known for being sweet but moody, fun but also homebodies. But us crabs are more than Instagram astrology memes. We're fierce and loyal and extremely creative. We also have near-perfect intuition and we go through hell on fire to protect the ones we love. Some famous cancer queens include Missy Elliott, Will Kim, Wendy Williams, Ari Fletcher, Sweetie, Chloe Bailey, Selena Gomez, Solange Knowles, and of course, Miss Ariana Grande. For my first Cancer Sun inspired look, I decided to go with a cute but comfy look. Very streetwear inspired, so very on trend for 2020. I just styled this vintage NASCAR t shirt, primary colored t shirt that I got from Depop, which I'll link the seller below, with these baggy patchwork boyfriend jeans from Shein, and a thrifted blue bag, and my Royal Toe Jordan one. This shirt is perfect for a cancer because it's literally the embodiment of comfy but cute. Cancers love to be comfortable. We're definitely t-shirt and jeans kind of girls and, and boys and non-binary and whatever else in between. And um, yeah, we just, we love to be cute but comfy. Comfort, comfortability is like, a, comfortability is that even a word? Comfort. <laughs> is key when dressing and styling a cancer. Since we love, we're homebodies, so we love to be just secure in our outfits. And right here, I'm just showing you my cancer ring that's available on my online store. So if I should need, I'll link it below. For my second Cancer Sign inspired outfit, I was inspired by Disney princesses, mainly Cinderella. I went with this aesthetic because cancers are known for being like sweet and innocent and pure, kind of like a Disney princess. So I saw this dress and I immediately thought of this video idea and um, I think it's perfect <laughs> for a cancer sign. It's also blue, you know, cancer is a water sign. So the blue goes with the water aesthetic, beachy aesthetic, and then it's also just very lightweight and also comfortable. It fit very well. And then right here, I'm just showing you my moon earrings. The cancer sign is ruled by the moon. So I thought they went perfectly with the dress. And also this necklace that I got from Shein. This entire outfit is from Shein. I'll make sure I link, it, link everything below. Everything was perfect. The only thing I needed was a pair of glass slippers. And guess what? I found some from Fashion Nova. And guess what? They fit. For my celebrity inspired look, cancer look, I went with Miss Ariana Grande, the cancer queen. Ari is known for wearing oversized sweaters, sweatshirts, hoodies with her signature thigh high boots and her signature high or low ponytail. She is literally the personification of cute but comfy and also cute but sexy. <laughs> but with my look, I'll end up looking like this. So basically this outfit is literally what I just described, an oversized sweatshirt with thigh high boots from Fashion Nova. The sweatshirt is from Shein. And I thought it just perfectly embodied Ari with the whole baby girl aesthetic and the airbrush Y2K feel. And I was actually surprised that this 
sweatshirt, you know, covered my bits and pieces, being that I'm 5'8", but uh, I made sure I checked the measurements and the sleeves and the length and stuff on Shein before I ordered it. And I did go a size up and I ordered a size large just to be sure that it would fit like a dress. And then I actually love these boots from Shein. They fit, per I mean, fashion over, they fit perfectly. And then I just paired it with these rimless Y2K inspired pink sunglasses that I also got from Shein. Everything will be linked below. So next up is the Virgo Rising. A rising or ascendant sign can be described as how you portray yourself to others. Almost like the mask for my psychology people, your own personal schema that you project in social situations. It's basically how others see you. It can affect your physical appearance and overall style. Those with the Virgo rising are often shy and reserved, yet hardworking and ambitious. We can be perfectionists and anxious overthinkers. Sometimes our logic overpowers our emotions and we're a bit critical. But generally, we're good natured people who just want things to be fair and sensible. For my first Virgo Rising inspired outfit, I went with this earthy camouflage dress from Shein. Virgos are earth signs, so I figured I'd go with like a earthy tone, green, khaki, brown type look. And then camouflage just always makes you think about the forest and stuff, which is also like a earthy scenario and then also i went with the whole survivor type look because i feel like virgos are so ambitious and just determined go-getters they don't give up very easily so in a situation where they had to survive or something i feel like uh, a virgo would definitely come out on top or at least be one of the last people to you know die or lose or whatever but i could definitely see a virgo being the winner on like a survivor type ear factor type show and then of course the queen herself is a virgo miss beyonce which more on beyonce later in the video and then i just paired this dress with um some white booties from forever 21 i believe and you can wear this dress button all the way up for a more reserved look or show a little cleavage So for my Virgo Rising celebrity inspo, I chose Kurt Cobain, who was probably the coolest Virgo Rising ever to exist. Kurt wasn't afraid to push boundaries and be blunt about who he was. He often wore earthy colors, cardigans, and graphic tees that were simple, but said a lot about his personality. He also wasn't afraid to ignore gender stereotypes and often rocked traditionally feminine colors and patterns like pink and floral. So for this look, I went with a floral green cardigan this green isn't really much of a, a earthy green, but I think green period is considered an earthy color, so whatever. And then I went with this graphic tee that says social distancing. If you're if you can read this, you're too close. And I thought this was just a perfect Virgo graphic tee because Virgos are known for being or Virgo risings are known for being sarcastic, witty, and also health health conscious. So I felt like this is definitely the perfect slogan for them. Or for us. <laughs> And I just paired it with a pair of thrifted mom jeans, Levi mom jeans, and black combat boots for an overall grunge look. For the last Virgo Rising inspired look, I went with this preppy, reserved, wealthy schoolgirl type look. Virgo Risings are known for being, you know, studious, hardworking, ambitious, you know, and just very like focused and um, hardworking. So I felt like a schoolgirl type look would be perfect. And plus it also goes along with the whole reserved, innocent type Virgo aesthetic that I picture when I think of Virgo rising to just Virgos of all. These little white schoolgirl, well not even just white, all of these white schoolgirl type pleated skirts are just super trendy right now. I've been seeing them everywhere. And I absolutely love them. This one is from Shein, and surprisingly, it fit pretty well. It was just wrinkled. That was pretty much the only problem. And then I went with this Burberry-inspired type pattern turtleneck. 
which definitely goes along with Virgos. You know, Virgos are known, horizons are known for being reserved, once again, like I said a million times. So a turtleneck is perfect to, you know, be covered up, but still cute and high fashion. Ooh, yeah. Scorpio moon. One word, intense. Moon signs are known for ruling the emotions. Your moon affects how you process your emotions in situations and relationships. It's your subconscious and all those deep thoughts and feelings you keep to yourself. Moon signs in Scorpio are extremely private and secret, secretive individuals who often have difficulties opening up and allowing others to truly get to know them. We're mysterious and sexy and despise things like small talk, liars, and betrayal. We prefer to have a few close friends rather than a large group and we sometimes come off as distant, yet we are fiercely loyal and protective. When we love, we love hard. We're independent and don't easily conform or follow the crowd. And by far the most legendary person with a Scorpio moon is the queen herself, Beyonce knows Carter. At first I wanted to do a specific look for B until I noticed that she wears a lot of black, which is perfect for a Scorpio moon's alluring dark aura. Beyonce is also known for her bustiers and bodysuits that cinch in her waist and emphasize her curves. So for this first Scorpio Moon inspired outfit, I went with this black suspender crop top from Shein and a pair of distressed straight leg jeans also from Shein. I feel like this is perfect for Scorpio because the mock neck kind of gives off this, you know, secretive, mysterious vibe, but the suspender crop top detailing allows you to show a little skin, you know, for that sexiness that Scorpios are known for and Scorpio moons and risings are known for. And the same with the distressed jeans. They give off that just a little skin type look for that type Scorpio feel. For the next look, I went with this Mentally Gone Slogan crop top from Shein, which I just felt like was perfect for Scorpio moons because I feel like we all literally feel like this all the time. Just like our minds are just gone off into the deep end, worrying and stressing about stuff that doesn't even matter. And I just paired it with these cutout flare pants from Shein, which were super comfortable. I got a size small because they were very um they ran very big and then i just paired it with this sling bag also from Shein. i believe that it has like a charger or something so i, but I didn't test it out but hey the review said it worked so i feel like that would just be awesome if it actually did but you know whatever and i just paired it with my cliche air force ones and this um spiky choker that I also got from Shein. I love this choker. I feel like it just definitely emphasizes the whole dark, mysterious type vibe. And um, the only thing about it was it left a black ring around my neck when I wore it one day. And I didn't notice it till I woke up the next morning when I was in the shower. And I definitely thought a ghost had tried to strangle me in my sleep. I was a little worried. And last but not least, for my last Scorpio Moon outfit, I went with this DIY a t-shirt ordeal I created <laughs> with a Christina Aguilera song inspired slogan graphic on the front and these joggers from my online store self by Shanice this definitely also goes with the whole sexy but comfy look cancers and Scorpios are both water signs so I feel like both kind of like that aesthetic but I feel like a Scorpio moon would show a little bit more skin so this is why this is more of a Scorpio look to me. And plus it's mostly black and it has like the bustier. And I paired it with my Royal Toe ones and this stripped it blue bag. And these Louis Vuitton inspired sunglasses from Best Apparel on my Instagram. So thanks everyone for watching. If you got this far, you're a real one. Uh, I'm so sorry for the audio. I promise I'm going to get a mic soon and I'm going to do hopefully better with recording my audio and 
I'm gonna try to record videos where I actually talk on camera. I have quite a few ideas coming up um, soon. So, like for example, the um, I want to do a black cartoon inspired look and more. So you know, just stay tuned for that. Subscribe, comment, like, and let me know what else you'd like to see. If you want me to do a part two to this video, because I had a lot of fun, I would definitely do it. So enjoy the rest of your day.